Hi and welcome to the live recording of building of a CSAT survey and then integrating that with CRM, in this case Salesforce. So my name is Andrew Walker and if you haven't seen one of these already, our start point as ever is the create new survey link. So we create that, give our survey a name, put it in a folder and choose a template. So we'll just use the general form survey link. Now the CSAT server that we're going to demonstrate, it's tough to say isn't it CSAT, is simply two questions based on a very well-known methodology or method so and the question is on a scale of 1 to 10 actually 0 to 10 where 0 is not at all and 10 is highly how likely are you to recommend us to a friend or colleague and forgive me if I haven't got the exact wording right but I think you get the gist so so we need a naught to naught to 10 scale and we're going to display that horizontally that's our first question and they're going to add another question which is an essay question which basically asks them to justify, or well, explain, not justify. Um, I can't remember the exact wording for that, but you, again, you get the idea. So that's the basis of our survey, simple two questions. But to link this information back into CRM, we need to add some hidden questions. So I'm going to click on the arrow there, so I add them at the, the top of the survey, and we will add a hidden text question and what we basically need to do is we want to link it to the account so I just put account ID in there and we also want to link it to the contact and that's all we need to do apart from just make those hidden so there if we just click a preview is our very simple two question survey. Now we need to store this information in CRM so I'm going to s switch across to Salesforce, go to the setup section and add in a survey. We're going to create a new custom object and we're going to call it CSAT and we'll call the plural so that CSAT or CSAT, now we'll leave it at CSAT and we'll save that and we'll add our custom fields so we need one for our score and we'll call it our advocacy score A length of two no decimal places scale equals naught to ten naught not at all likely to recommend 10 highly likely click on next just whip, whiz our way through these save and new and then we need one for our essay question so that will be a long text I believe text error long there we go just call that comments don't need any help text there obviously whiz through these now we also need to link this field, this object, back to our contact and account. So I'm going to do a lookup for the contact. Whiz through these again. I'm going to do something slightly different for the account. What we're going to use for the account is we're going to use a master detail, also known as parent-child relationship. And what that means is that every CSAT record that we create must be linked to an account. And the reason that we're going to do that is that that would then enable you to roll up the scores from all the contacts in an account and give you an overall advocacy or CSAT score for an account. Um, so if you're asking surveys that are not that or about the company in general, the overall score for an account is much more valuable than a one-off score or can be more valuable. The, the, the individual response can still be very valid. And the last thing I'm going to do here is we're going to add another little formula field that is going to tell us whether the person loves us, hates us, or doesn't really care. 
So we're going to call this advocacy type, maybe waiting or call it what you want. Well, it will be some text. And for this, I'm going to use a simple little if formula, and we will insert the field if the advocacy score is greater than eight. We will call that person a promoter. If the and then if the advocacy score is less than seven, oh, seven, we'll call them a detractor. And if it's neither of those, we will call them passive. And then just close off our brackets. Let's just check the syntax. Always a bit of overrain time, especially for me because I, I get my brackets massively wrong. Woohoo! That's good. So uh, basically, if they score more than eight, we'll call them promoter. Less than seven, detractor. Otherwise, passive. So do they love us, hate us, or don't care? Click next. So we've got our survey we've got our custom object so now what we can do is we can go through and we can map the object to the survey or map the survey to the object so we'll go in back to click tools now into our survey settings set the salesforce up to be automatically synced put our credentials in select a url uh, put a an exit page in, click save, that will just make sure my credentials are OK and we can now go to the deploy menu, click on map and we have no mappings and all we're going to do in this one is we'll scroll down to find our advocacy object and we're just going to create a new object, we're not going to do anything more complicated than that. So link to our contact, we'll our advocacy score and our comments and that's literally simple as it is save that so now what we need to do is figure out how we're going to deploy the survey now what we did in a previous in the previous couple of examples if we we've shown a link or a button from within salesforce we've shown a workflow rule but an advocacy survey or a csat survey isn't easily deployed using workflow um, quite often what you want, might want to do is send a survey out on the basis of somebody being a customer a few months or send a survey out every quarter. And some situations that are quite difficult, as I said, to use workflow. So what we're going to look at here is a, a cool feature within Salesforce, uh, sorry, a cool feature within ClickTools called, um, amazingly, the deploy feature. And despite the catchy name, it does actually have some pretty cool functionality. So what we're going to do, to do that, we're basically going to use a Salesforce report to send a survey. So I'm going to go back to Salesforce, we're going to go to the reports, and we are going to build a CSAT report. And in effect, I already have one built there. So I'm just going to show you what this actually is. So basically, we are, have a report that gives me any accounts created in the current year. And the report has four columns. It has the email, and if you're using this functionality within ClickTools, you must have the email as the first column. We then have the account ID and the contact ID. So this is the other information that we want to put in the survey. So these are our two hidden questions. And then we're also going to use the first name, which is going to be used to personalize the email. So you can set up this report to almost run on any subset in any object. So for example, you could use it to automate a win-loss survey by getting a report that says give me all of the contact roles for opportunities that I have won or lost today or this week or this month and then use click tools to automatically send a survey to those people in this instance we're imagining that we're going to send a survey out to all of our new customers this year and this organization might be struggling uh, it's only got two customers but then again perhaps they've each spent eight million pounds eight million dollars so two customers is actually exactly what they want but nevertheless we're going to send surveys out so I now I've got my CSAT report survey that I can use, so I go back to Click Tools, and I need to go to the templates area and I need to create an email template. 
So I'm going to create a new email template. We'll call it SFDC CSAT survey. We'll put, would you recommend us? We're just going to do a plain text email, but we actually want it to be of type Salesforce. And what that does is if you watch this area down here, we've got a number of drop downs. If I change this to Salesforce, this appears, which is get report columns. So I can click that. And what ClickTools will do then is basically go away and get all my custom folders and custom reports. So I can select the CSAT report and then ClickTools enables me to get column names and put them into the email. So I can put dear first name, um, thank you for choosing Widget Buster earlier in the year. We would be grateful. Sorry, I'm not going to talk while I type. And again, this could be a full uh, plain text email, could be a full, full HTML. It's entirely up to you. And now we are basically going to put a link in. And we're going to annotate again as we've done previously. Let's just put this on different lines so we can show you clear what we're doing. We know that the first question in the survey was the account ID and the second one was the contact ID. And then we add those to the survey link. And that is our template. I'm just showing you a, a plain text email because of to show you the link again how that resolves itself. So we will create that. And now we can go, we need to go to the deploy tab. We'll select our survey. And we now have used the Salesforce report deployment option. And as I mentioned, we're going to create a new deployment. We don't have anything actively running at the moment, but create a new deployment. We can choose to do this as a one-off basis, or as I mentioned before, um, set up a schedule. So every week, run this report and send the survey. We're just going to do a one-time deployment. Click Create. That then goes away, gets my reports. CSAT report is there. I'm not going to remove duplicates. So, and that will run the report. And I should get two. So there's my report run email address, account ID, contact ID, and name. So I'm just going to select one. Now, if you'd set, selected remove duplicates, then it would only give one of these contacts back, and it would give back the first one it found. Because obviously you don't want to send, or sometimes you don't want to send the same survey to two people with the same email address. Sometimes you might, but most cases you won't. So I'm going to choose Daisy. Click Next. And then we give it a job title, CSAT. Um, and then we choose our organization emails that you can use from within ClickTools, another great feature. The other feature of this is that we can use the, if you have email to Salesforce set up, you can use this capability to record an activity against the contact saying that you've recorded the um, survey or sent the survey. I'm not going to use that on this occasion. We then select our template and I want the SFDC CSAT survey. Let's just check that's the right one. Absolutely it is. And then you can also test. We're not going to test here. I'm pretty confident this will work. And click Issue Surveys. That sends the survey. So magically, in my Gmail account, our survey has been sent. And here is my link. Click on the link. You'll see the contact and account ID added at the end. Open link in the tab. There's our survey. I'm going to give me 10 out of 10. Okay, don't say anything about the score or the remark. Let's click Submit. Go to the ClickTools page. And if we go back to Salesforce now, we'll go back to our contacts. We actually got the report. Let's just select Daisy there. And what doesn't happen is that hasn't synced. Okay, so let's have a look at why this hasn't synced. Let's go back to Click Tools. I shouldn't have been quite so confident, should I? 
OK, so it's failed. So, unable to find object type click tools advocacy. OK, so what te that's telling me is that I'm mapping to an object that doesn't exist. OK, so what we might need to do is, tell you what, let's rebuild our cache. So this button over here basically says, go and get the latest Salesforce data that you've got. And we don't have any mappings. So what that means is that I, what I've done is, I don't have advocacy anymore. I've got CSAT. So I know exactly what I did there. I built another, in practicing for this webinar, I built an advocacy object and then deleted it. But I was already in ClickTools, so ClickTools was slightly out of date. So by building that, rebuilding that cache, you can get the very latest picture of what's in Salesforce. And I called it CSAT, not advocacy. So we just need to go through the process of rerunning the map, rebuilding the mapping. Okay, so we're just going to do this really quickly. Contact ID. And we're going to put in the advocacy score. And we're going to add in the comments. I'm going to save that. So we'll now go back to our synchronized menu. And so you'll see that ClickTools tries and does as much as it can to tell you and point you in the right direction if things don't work. So in this instance, we know we don't work. It didn't actually find the object because it had an old mapping. So by rebuilding the, 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 um, the list, we can now try and resync that. So let's see if that works now. We'll go back to Daisy. Okay, that tells me it's worked. Go back to Daisy. Refresh that page. And hey presto, here is our CSAT response. Okay, I didn't actually put an auto number in there, but you just got the name. So here's my awesome webinar. I scored it 10 out of 10. It's linked to Daisy and it's type promoter. Let's just show you what I mean by the account stuff. If we scroll up, You'll see here there is actually a couple of scores that I've built for another example. That here what we're doing is basically doing exactly what I've done. So from the report card object, we're rolling up scores from all of the accounts and producing scores. So here we're saying we've got three people that called us promoters, no people that called us detractors. Therefore, our net promoter score, a net promoter is a registered trademark of Satmetrics, Fred Reichelt and Bain and & Co., and the net promoter score of 100, which is the maximum you can get. And to do that, you must have a parent-child or master detail relationship between your account and your contact. So despite that slight little hiccup because I was an idiot and I hadn't done my map properly, um, we actually showed out how easy it was to fix that. So that's the end of the webinar. Hopefully you've seen how easy it is to deploy using the cool feature within ClickTools to enable you to use Salesforce report. If you do get stuck or have any questions, please contact our support team and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.